friends so once again welcome to my channel and in today's video you will see fast multiplication till now we have completed our booth algo for multiplying sign integers now we will be doing fast multiplication there also will take help of booth algo only but we will simply modify a small thing and we will be reaching at a fast multiplication process so let's see how to do it before starting that i would like to analyze our booth algo means when it will behave the best when it will give me uh, that uh, worst case scenario and all that i would like to discuss so see suppose this is my multiplier what we used to do in booth algo whatever multiplier is given to us that we used to record means we used to modify the bits plus 1 minus 1 0 something like that we have done and we know how to do it if two consecutive bit positions are same then the multiplier bit will be what zero and if the consecutive bits are changing from zero to one then we take it as your minus one right we take it as your minus one and if it is uh, uh, one to zero then we used to take plus one this is how we have done the recording so for this binary bit pattern multiplier our recorded multiplier will be zero zero minus one plus one and this how it is right so these many variable this Plus one, minus ones are there. We need to perform the operation. The next you see, this is our general case. Means some combination of one zeros are there. Sometimes consecutive, sometimes not. So it is our general case of both cell group. Then next is this one. That uh, uh, suppose uh, alternate bit positions are changing. In my multiplier, the multiplier happens to be one zero one zero zero one zero one zero one like that. Then what we have to do for each toggling we have to perform two operations see for here this one to the right of this one one zero is assumed so zero to one is minus one operation one to zero is plus operation zero to one minus operation one to zero plus operation so for every bit we need to perform the operation plus one means directly take the shifted version of the multiplicand for minus one take the two's complement of the multiplicand and then take the shifted version of the multiplicand in your addition process this is how we have done it right this so here we have to perform operation for every bit present in the present in the multiplier so this happens to be our worst case right because in normal multiplication also for these zeros we are not going to perform any operation but in our booth algo we have to do so because of that i say it is the worst case scenario then the next one is what your suppose we have a very good multiplier here good means what uh, means my favorable condition where i need to perform lesser number of operation that is good for me so see here suppose my multiplier consists of consecutive ones then consecutive zeros then consecutive ones then that will be the best case why because for consecutive bit positions having same value i need not have to perform any operation so see for this one to the right of it one zero is there So zero to one is minus operation, then one to zero plus operation, then zero to one minus operation, and in all other cases consecutive bits are same. So the multiplier to zero will be zero, right? So only three operations will be performing, and then we'll add the summons, right? The versions of the multiplicand to get the result of multiplication by this particular multiplier. That time both algo will give me what best case. because lesser number of operations we need to perform right so this is the analysis of booth algo sometimes in exam this question comes what is the worst case what is the best case worst case is what alternate bit positions are toggling best case consecutive ones consecutive zeros consecutive ones are there in my multiplier right hope this part is understood now see we don't know what type of multiplier we used to get right so in for any type of multiplier we are getting for that we need to perform the operations at a faster or means a, a faster multiplication operation so see in case of booth algo two two bit positions we are taking uh, suppose 0 to 0 then what i am doing here no operation then it is suppose 1 to 0 then the, this bit position will be plus 1 then it was uh, one uh, sorry uh, this one is 0 to 1 then here i used to do negative operation this is how we have done in the booth uh, booth record recording but in bit pair recording 3 3 bits we will be taking and will be see in bit pair recording what we are going to do is 
suppose one bit position is like this 101 one. three consecutive bits are like this then we will record them using three bits and here the recorded bits will be written see this is position i this is i minus one this is i plus one these three positions will consider and here we will write our recorded bit of the multiplier how we used to do for doing that we are going to take help of booth's algo only so see for one two zero what operation we used to perform one two zero plus operation we used to perform then zero to one minus operation we used to perform see this is bit position what zero and this is bit position what one so as a whole what it is becoming is one into two to the power zero will be what one only plus what this is minus one into two to the power one so it will become what minus two right then as a whole this will become what minus one so if i take these three bits in bit pair recording then the value at ith position will be minus one how i am getting is clear or not i am taking help of booth's recording only what i did see 120 120 is what in booth recording plus 1 then 0 to 1 is what minus 1 this much we know then you consider what is the position of these bits this is 0th position if suppose two bits are there then what is this position this is 0 this is 1 our numbering starts from 0 so what is the value ultimately 1 into 2 to the power 0 what it will be 1 only then plus what minus 1 into 2 to the power 1 so what it will be minus 2 so minus 2 plus 1 will be what minus 1 so at ith position we are going to take minus 1 this is how we are going to do in bit pair recording so again i will show you so that it will become clear to you suppose here this is my multiplier right to the right of it i'll consider one zero right and here to the left of it also i'm considering one more bit and what is the value of that bit that depends on what is the sign bit of your original multiplier so here my sign bit is what one so if i need to extend this multiplier i'll extend the sign bit so here i have taken one but if at all in your multiplier this bit is zero then you have to take here zero only right this part is understood why i have taken this one i am coming to that very shortly so see now see if i do the booth pair recording uh, booth recording then 0 to 0 will be 0 0 to 1 will be minus 1 1 to 0 will be plus 1 0 to 1 will be minus 1 1 to 1 is 0 1 to 1 is 0 because this bit also i need to record for that i require where one bit so to do that i have extended my sign bit right this part is uh, understood right so this is 1 to 1 is 0 now see the whatever i have applied there that i'll show you here so see here here at this bit position the value will be minus 2 where from i am getting it 0 into 2 to the power 0 plus minus 1 into 2 to the power 1 you consider these two bits right so minus 1 into 2 to the power 1 this part will become 0 and what is this minus and what is 2 to the power 1 is 2 uh, 1 2 only so what it will be minus 2 so here it is minus 2 got my point then next two bits in pair only i have to take so because of that the sign bit was extended in pair only booth recorded multiplier is again paired up and to get the um, bit for my multiplier in bit pair recording right so i'll pair up whatever i have recorded in the booth algo to get bit pair recording of multipliers whereby three three bits are considered together so see here then next is plus one minus one so plus one plus one into two to the power zero plus what minus one into two to the power one so what it will be this part is what one plus what minus two so it will be what minus one so here what i will write minus one see it is minus one then next you see 0 to 0 will be 0 only so i need not have to show you so it is 0 right this is how we are going to do the bit pair recording of multipliers where actually we have considered three three bits to get one bit of the multiplier right so 
beat their recording half the maximum number of summons whatever number of that versions of multiplicands we need to add to get the result of multiplication that will be half year in case of beat pair recording right so uh, see whatever i did there 0001 101 there see one table is there uh, that table can be also used or we can uh, do the calculation ourselves to get the this particular version of the multiplier right so if all three bits are zero then it will be zero bit in the multiplier right version of multiplicand selected by the ith bit right so zero into m see ith bit of what multiplier right then 001 will be plus 1 010 will be plus 1 see actually i have written the three bit binary combination and the values are 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 so see how to remember this table because during exam time you may not have the time to uh, do the calculation to arrive at these values that time the table will be helpful to us so if these bits are zero all these here it is plus how i am getting it zero plus one plus one plus two and here if it is minus one one means what negative then you just flip the table so this plus will become minus two minus one minus one zero right i'll show you one examples how i am getting this plus two so see one to one is what zero then one to zero is what plus one so one into two to the power one so what it will be two this part anyways it is zero so it is two so you can calculate no problem in that but if you do not have time then this table will be helpful to us right so in bit pair recording of multipliers we will be using this table to record our multipliers right then see i'll be starting one example how to do bit pair recording a multiplication means using bit pair recording of multipliers how we can perform on multiplication operation so see my operation need to be done is plus 11 into minus 9 so the way we have proceeded for your our booth algo same way we are going to do we need to represent both the numbers using sign twos complement method and using equal number of bits right so plus 11 is what your 8 plus 3 See, this you can use uh, your calculators to get the binary, or you can calculate it. So that part I am not discussing because that is very simple. So plus eleven is what one zero one zero one one eight eight plus four then two plus one is what eleven, and then it is positive. So sine bit is zero, right? Then what is minus eleven? Take the two's complement of plus eleven because sometimes we need to add the Uh, negative of your uh, multiplicand that is two's complement of multiplicand so we are keeping it ready here right so take the two's complement of it so this one will come directly then all other bits will be flipped right so this is minus 11 then plus 9 plus 9 is what 8 plus 1 so 8 plus 1 is 9 then what is minus 9 to take the two's complement of it right then we need to do the bit pair recording of the multiplier so for this combination 1 0 1 1 we need to do the bit pair recording so that i will discuss in my next video hope till now whatever i have discussed is clear then we'll continue the process in our next video till then thank you